Hi guys, it's Pat, and I uh, finished a couple of projects. I wanted to just do a real quick video before I put these in the mail. Um, they're both for swaps on Life on the Scrap Beach. And um, the first one is uh, Trisha's uh, Rolodex swap. And uh, this was the fall theme, and I took two spots. So, um, of course, this is the Rolodex card, and I have a Sizzix die that I use for... Um, for this, it's, uh, it's, I don't think they even make that one anymore, but, um, so, this is, uh, the paper is, uh, from Bo Bunny, it's last year's fall paper, I think it was called Life is Beautiful, but I'm not sure, and then, um, these are mostly Prima, uh, leaves, uh, there's a felt leaf back here, and then the rest are Prima leaves, and a button. And then um, the little butterflies are um, covered with um, some different kinds of glitter and uh, Martha Stewart's glass beads, which I'm really, <clears throat> I was experimenting with that, and I really like it, um, as well as the glitter. And hopefully this holds up uh, in transit and it has something on it uh, when it gets there. And the um, the Prima leaves already had a little glitter on them, which kind of made me think of the leaves, you know, in the first frost and how the leaves are just glistening um, when uh, we get that uh, first frost, which seems like it's a long way away right now. Um, so anyway, that is the front. And then I wrapped this, as you can see, I wrapped the fiber around, and I always like to leave a spot where you can put a slide in a business card and I just put mine in here um, for now and then I also stamped my uh, name here um, <clears throat> why well, I just got the stamps but uh, I decided to use them because a lot of you know you think you're going to remember who made what but if uh, if you do a lot of swaps and time passes you forget and sometimes people just send a little sticky and that falls off and sometimes I'm looking at something <clears throat> I think it's really pretty or I might want to use it in a project and I don't know who to give credit to so I decided that I would start putting a stamp on my um, work and um, you know it's it's not real I don't know if you can even see it in the camera I can't tell um, but um, so, and then there's my card, which uh, you can slide out. So that's my first submission, the first spot that I took, which was for uh, Autumn. And then the second spot that I took, I decided to do Halloween. And uh, that is um, this card. So this is, um, I'm going to show you the back, because it's just some tulle ribbon that's wrapped around, and that's how I put my card in there and I also stamped uh, it's just very faint but uh, my name and uh, so when the card is gone in case somebody's wondering um, so then that's the back the front this paper is from um, my mind's eye it's a paper pad I picked up at Michael's I bought way too much Halloween paper I I don't know I mean, how many mini books I would have to do to use up all the paper, but besides this mind's eye, I bought the Teresa Collins paper, I bought the Pink Paisley paper, I bought the Echo Park paper, I'll show you a project I did with that in a minute, and um, I, I've got a, I will say I have a weakness for paper anyway, but for Halloween paper for some reason I can't seem to resist. So anyway, so the tool kind of comes around, and, um, and there is um, a little tag here. And this, whoops, sorry, here I go, knocking my camera over. Um, this tag comes out, so it can be, and uh, that's also the same My Mind's Eye tablet that, uh, that I purchased. And then this was kind of a bright ribbon. Um, and uh, I kind of, I wanted it to be duller, so, I don't know, now it's looking kind of, I don't know, more dirty than distressed, but that, anyway, that was what I was going for. And of course, 
<coughs> excuse me. Mm. Then um, this is a, a bottle cap that uh, I uh, added to this and with uh, images that I got from Bottle Caps Incorporated. And, uh, and then this is uh, some of those bloomer ribbons. And this is a um, uh, I Am Roses rose that I, uh, well, I sprayed it with everything, I think. But mostly a Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, I think it's called Hogwarts Orange. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I have this terrible sinus infection. <coughs> It's causing like a tickle in my throat. Anyway, so my allergies. <clears throat> my allergies are driving me crazy. And I'm working with this uh, <coughs> tripod that's not very good. I need to replace it. So anyway, but those are my submissions for... Um, the Rolodex swap with Trisha Hamilton. So then I entered into the bottle cap swap <coughs> with uh, Trudy Hutton. I'm having a terrible time with my uh, tripod tonight. And uh, so this is the um, tag that I made. Uh, I think I set it in the thing where I keep my jump rings and they're all sticking to it. So, <clears throat> just uh, back up a little bit so you can see the whole tag. Don't want you to see my desk because it's very, very messy right now. Um, so that's what the tag looks like on the front. Um, this right here is a magnet, so there's a piece of metal under there that it sticks to. This image is, actually it's a vintage uh, witch, and there were some bottle cap images that I purchased online, digital images, with uh, some charms added. And these charms just kind of reminded me, she almost looks like a wizard instead of a witch. And it kind of reminded me of a more of a, a wizard type thing. And then, of course, this one, this is from Bottle Caps Incorporated. It is a uh, pumpkin. And then we have, these are some Tim Holtz baubles and some chains. And then a little pumpkin charm. So, um, also, here's a little pocket. And I... Put a little tag in there. So this is a stamp um, from uh, Red Lead, and I love, love, love these uh, little Halloween poems. This one says, "By pumpkin fat and witches lean, by coal black cats with eyes of green, by all the magic ever seen, I wish you luck this Halloween." So that just fits right in there. And then on the back, I just have. Uh, spider web, a little spider, my card, oh, I'm almost tipping over this camera again, and then I actually also then stamped my name back here. So that's my my bottle caps that are going to go to Trudy Hutton. So, anyway, apologize for the quality of this video, but I wanted to try to keep track of of these uh, and I need to get them out. I'm actually slightly late. I really feel bad. I've never been late before on a swap and um, this is just really cutting it so close that I think they're going to get it a day or so late. So, um, <clears throat> But uh, anyway, um, I hope that whoever gets these enjoys them and after I did this magnet then I thought, you know, this isn't so great for somebody who has um, has a you know a very small child. So if you happen to get this and uh, you know this just doesn't work for you, just send me a message and I'll 
I'll send you another bottle cap, something to replace this. It was by the time I figured this out, so goofy. Um, I'm just too close to the date for the swap. And by the way, this um, this spider is also from the uh, Bottle Caps Incorporated, which is a company that. Uh, and this was the vintage Halloween edition, but um, the great thing about this company is that uh, they are they are in the USA, and these are made in the United States. And so I realize it's only bottle caps, but I'm always glad to see that we are making something here in the states. So that is my those are my these are my bottle caps. Uh, the paper that I use, this particular paper, is the Echo Park. Um, I think it's called um, uh, Apothecary Emporium. So, uh, so that's that. Uh, and these are just, and these are these are on jump on two jump rings, so that they'll lay flat the right way. So, you can take them off and put them on something else, or do whatever you want with it if you get this. Okay. So that's it, everybody, and thanks so much for watching.